yes it's another beautiful and sad day a combination of beautiful day and sad day mixed together it's a sad day because i'm going to be revealing my trade secret that has made me plenty of money all these years <laughs> And then it's a beautiful day because you guys are going back home with enough value, very strong value. I'm going to be revealing how to produce 20 liters premium quality white emotion paint. White emotion paint, premium quality. Okay, so without wasting time, my name is Eval Sam Ile. I am your number one paint production professional in Africa. So let's begin this way. So this production process, we are going to be following this formulation guide from beginning to end just the way it is you know beginning from this to this that, that means this, this is a step we are following so let me write this way so that you understand better that means this is the procedure from this to 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 this, to this, to this until it gets to the end so and this is raw material this is quantity so we are going to be Processing it as I as as we as we we go through the journey, I will explain. I will go through the journey. I will explain until we finish the production process. So let's begin. Okay, so we'll begin with measurement of water. So we have to subtract the uh, weight of the container so we can have the accurate content. So this is what I've been turned in. We have to ensure that it's up to ten liters, or let me see, ten kg. You know, I told you a kg and liter is the same thing from our former video. So. I think it's all more than 10 kg so we have to reduce it and make sure we have accurate measurement so this is it's been turned into the container the container is quite smaller than you know what we are supposed to use it for but to enable us to see properly this is calgon calgon is a type of phosphate salt when you add it to water it makes the water soft enough you know, to disperse other chemicals properly like to make the water wet and soft enough so that other solid chemicals coming in can be dissolved properly yeah so we have to mix it properly now this is cargon being mixed with the mixing machine so we have to mix it properly and make sure it's properly dispersed so that it, it will begin its function so the next chemical we are measuring now is titanium dioxide titanium dioxide like i told you before in our former video i think i'll drop the link in this video it's to help in let me say making the paint have high coverage opacity you know so that when you paint a, a particular surface it can cover well yeah so that is the titanium dioxide being turned in so we have to mix it and ensure ensures that it's properly mixed so yeah and then the next chemical now is to turn is um calcium carbonate this is calcium carbonate it's uh, it is the major um content in the production of emotion paint it helps to increase the volume and reduce um cost you no know, uh, cost of ex other expensive materials like some paint don't have to tell them that uh, so calcium carbonate in it paint like um, satin don't have but this one this is the major content that will increase the quantity or increase the volume of the paint so it helps to form the film the major film of this paint that's the surface the coated surface of you know the coated layer of a, a paint on the surface is film so the next chemical now is acrylic acrylic is a binder it's what mix up with other chemicals and help the paint bond well on the surface so without um acrylic that's when you see a wall becoming dusty or let me say chalky you know bringing out dust or when you lean on the paint the paint stains on you so we have to put it this is 2 kg just like you saw in the measurement scale so we have to mix it properly so whatever chemical you put you mix until everything mix homogeneously yeah you won't stop so the next chemical we are putting right now is a uh, deformer deformer is to is to uh, um you know entrapped bubbles is to make sure they deform them like it's an anti-foam all those foam bubbles that are entrapped in the paint so that white coating you won't have you know uh, bubbles so it deforms it so we have to mix and ensure that everything mix homogeneously that's a process to follow when producing a uh, paint whatever chemical you put you mix and mix and mix until everything is properly mixed 
before you stop. So the next chemical we are putting on is Genapol. Genapol basically it's a flow control property and it helps to uh, it's soapy in nature. It helps to ensure that the, the paint is fluid enough for easy application, like the paint flow and spread well on the wall. Yeah. So the next chemical we are putting down is kerosene. Yeah, kerosene. What kerosene basically does, it, it helps to support, uh, let me say, the uh, preservative so that it, it control, you know, the growth of bacteria in the paint. That's what it does. It helps to support the preservative so that bacterial activities will be drastically reduced. You know, it is a water-based paint, so bacteria will want to play with the paint. So the introduction of kerosene is just to reduce bacterial activities by producing. So the last, uh, let me see, the next chemical we are putting right now is formalin. Formalin is a preservative. We have different types of preser preservative, but we are using pro uh, formalin for this. Those who deal with cadaver, I think they will understand what uh, formalin does too. Formalin too is used in, in preserving uh, corpse. Or cadaver so this is um thickener you know what happened there is that after we uh, you know after putting all the chemicals we have to put the paint will not be thick so we have to put a uh, thickener so a thickener will bring everything together and the way to mix thickener is when you put it in a bucket like this you put a water that can mix it separately it, not too big not too small but water that can mix it separately and uh, so once you put it that way you you mix you mix it very fast so that it won't cake up so you mix homogeneously. You mix more as you are mixing the um the uh, uh, the the this thing is undergoing you know, several reaction until it gets thick properly. Yeah. So this is Paint Production Pro. I hope you are enjoying this process as it's going. Yeah. So the next chemical now after this is to put ammonia into introduce ammonia. Ammonia uh, basically helps to uh, um, to to uh, let me say quicken the thickening process. That's number one, and then it helps to to adjust the pH level. Uh, you know, in our basic science, um, we have uh, seven as neutral in pH uh, measurement. Seven as neutral. And then 14 as the highest. So uh, as you put all these chemicals, the paint will tend to be more acidic. So uh, ammonia helps to balance, you know, the, the pH level, so that it should be a bit, uh, it should be a bit more basic. So once it's basic, it will, it it, it, it will prevent discoloration and so many other things. So this the paint is ready, guys. Okay, properly thick now. So. This is the process to produce premium. This is premium quality, premium quality emotion paint. This paint in the market is sold for at least 25,000. Yeah. So this is it. Our paint is ready. Ever glitter paint. <laughs> so Ever glitter is my own personal brand. Yeah. My own personal brand that I push. Paint production pro is just to teach paint production. Ever glitter is my own personal brand. So if you need a, uh, high quality paint i will drop my number on the screen so my number is written on the screen right now as you can see so welcome to the paint production pro yeah i hope you enjoyed this section thank you please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel comment if you have questions put it on the comment section i'll personally handle it like i always tell you and then um share the video like it like it and don't forget to turn on the notification bell Thank you so much. My name is Evel Samile. I am number one print production professional in Africa. Thank you so much.